This series dominated by the Cavaliers in past. This is the 34th meeting between the two schools in men's soccer. UVA leads the all-time series 29-2. Dalkies always get up for the UVA Cavaliers. They need to do it again tonight. Number 21, UVA taking on Virginia Tech here from Thompson Field. In Blacksburg, Virginia, we are underway. The Commonwealth Clash. That shot is blocked by the Cavs. Now into the box. Here's a chance on goal, and he scores. Early 1-0 lead for the Cavs here on the road. That's Derek Etienne, the freshman. What a great individual effort there by Etienne. Splitting a couple defenders, gets free, and puts UVA on top very early in this one. Before the game, Coach Chulis came up to me and said, this is a big rivalry. This is like a Manchester United, Manchester City derby, so you gotta, gotta be ready. We're away. We're at their stadium, and there, there'll be nothing better than to, to beat them here. We don't want to be chasing the game, especially at away. So to be able to score the first goal is very important for the team. When I got the ball, the defender kind of backed off me, so I was able to come inside. And then I was just hoping to get in the box, you know, maybe probably draw a foul or something, you know, just get in the box, just putting pressure on the defense. And they gave me a lot of time. I was just able to slide it home. Etienne's 12-minute strike was enough as keeper Jeff Caldwell and the Cavalier defense recorded the sixth clean sheet on the season. The win extended Virginia's unbeaten streak over the Hokies to 11 games, clinching a first round bye in the ACC tournament. Etienne's second career goal was also his second game winner on the season. The first came against his father's alma mater, VCU. Uh, I like the VCU one better. <laughs> he was there, it was a kind of a love, love hate thing. I mean, scoring my first goal, he was very happy, like he was, like he couldn't do it to any other team, had to do it to my mother's school, but I mean, he, was, he was happy. Derek was born in Richmond while his father, Derek Sr., played professionally with the Richmond Kickers. When he was five, the family moved to New Jersey. In the Garden State, Etienne would meet two future friends and Cavalier teammates, Malcolm Dixon and Wesley Wade. The trio trained together with the New York Red Bull Academy before committing to the Cavaliers. Along with freshmen Edward Apoku and John Christoph Kofi, the blue chip recruiting class has gained valuable experience this season provided UVA with an added offensive dimension. Go back to middle school years with them. I mean, me and Malcolm have known each other since seven, eight years old, been playing against each other, and we've just been, been almost best friends since. I played against uh, Kofi a couple of times, yeah, and uh, you know, he, he's a, a very dynamic player, very strong on the ball. He can make, he can make runs in behind. He can take the ball for, for 50 yards. Seeing Edward when we came here before preseason, just did some pickup games. Just seeing how talented he was, uh, thought that the the first the first year class would be would be very good. Here's a chance for Virginia shot, and they've tied it. Cavaliers on the goal by Edward Apoku as he beats Dan Lind, and we're tied up at one. And Etienne yet again does a great job, but boy, what an individual effort by the freshman. We, uh, we all know that we're capable of, of, at any given time, bringing something to the team. So I feel like we're a very confident group and that we really believe in ourselves. And the guys, you know, when we are, we're playing, they give us the opportunities to go and do what we're, we're capable of. And it just comes with confidence. You know, when you step on the field, you start getting more playing time, you feel more confident. You beat a couple of guys and then you get some shots off. It just, it's, like, it's just a confidence booster. Everyone here has confidence and everyone feels that they can, they can cope and step up. Another classic rivalry looms, senior night against the Tar Heels of North Carolina, and a talented freshman hope to leave their mark on the 2015 season. It's been really good. I mean, uh, we have having a good record, been able to, to contribute to the team early, so I felt that was, that was very good. And then being able to get two goals in two, in two big games was, was very good, so I felt like it's been a success so far, but hopefully we can just do more. Just being going into ACC tournament and NCAA tournament, you just know you have to come out there and you have to play your best because at any given time, any team could be anybody.